In this video, we are going to see the uh, functions in PHP. So what is a function? The function is a named block of code that performs a specific task acting upon a set of values given to it, for example, parameters. And it may, return, it may or may not return a value. Mostly functions return a single value, not more than one value. And it provides a way to eliminate repeating the same line of code over and over and over in the program. So for example, I'll show you the binomial coefficient uh, evaluation. We'll see that program here. Yes. Now, yes. In this, uh, this is a program for binomial coefficient calculation. We all know the binomial uh, formula is um, n factorial divided by uh, n factorial n minus or factorial sorry or factorial yes this is a formula so n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial this is the formula okay let me do it as a close it in the command statement now uh, here also we do factorial here for, uh, we find the factorial of n and then we find the factorial of r and then uh, we find the factorial of n minus r all these three do the same function this is nothing but factorial if you write you can write separate separate coding for uh, finding n factorial or factorial and n minus sorry, r you can write a single function and you can call with the parameters so for example here uh, fact of dollar x this will find whatever may be the value you pass that factorial it will return if you pass five or six whatever it is that factorial this uh, function will return now say this program n equal to we have assigned our n variable 13 and for our 9 and this is the formula binom equal to fact of dollar n first i pass this this formula fact of n divided by fact of r okay and then fact of n minus r now when you pass this with this parameter it calculate it it call this function calculate that value and that value is returned and replaced here the same way fact of r that value is passed uh, it will be substituted and then whatever the factorial of r that will be returned and it will be placed here same way n minus r. So the same set of code, this set of code is executed three times. Uh, with the only the argument will be different. Then finally, this will be calculated based on the formula here given here. That is this divided by this into this. Then you will have the calculated value in this variable by now, and you print this value. Let us see how this executes. Program name. Yes, the binary coefficient is seven one five. It's the answer. Here, let me remove this. Yes, the binary coefficient of thirteen nine. That is one three and nine is. Uh, this, this is the value return. So, 
this is how we use a function uh, to do a set of same type of operations again and again repeatedly so for that we write only one function and the same code is used repeatedly that is the main advantage of using the function so that's what functions provide a way to eliminate repeating the same line of code over and over in your program you no need for you to write a, a factorial of 13 again then factorial of 9 again then factorial of 13 minus 9 again there is no need for writing the same set of codes three times instead we call a, we write only one function for calculating the factorial and we call it thrice so that the same set of lines are executed so functions save on compile time no matter how many times you call them that's what we have seen there are many functions built-in functions in php which you have already seen in our array operators so for example implode explode then we have already seen a famous one print underscore r which is used to print the value stored in the array so there are many built-in functions in php here in this video what we are going to say how to write a function on our own a user defined function the user defined function has the keyword function followed by the function name here it is small f it's not capital f so it's function followed by function name and then argument if there is any argument then within the open bracket closing braces within that you write the statements valid php statement and then if anything has to be written to the main program then you have to give the keyword return followed by the value to be written this is the syntax of the function in php now we'll see an example here we have opened the we have written the starting and end of the function end of the php and then within that we have written a function called my function so start with the keyword function then you give a name for that here it is empty para, empty brace uh, parenthesis there is no parameter path and open brace now still this works but there is no statement in this but there will be no error also this still works now let us try to write something in the php inside this so function my function the same thing and we have written an echo statement now once you write this if you don't you have to call this from the main program say this is a function but when you write a function without calling nothing happens this function will not be executed in order to execute this function you have to call in the main program with the name name of the function along with its parameters here since there is no parameters we are calling with the empty parenthesis so this is how to execute a function So you have to call the function in the main program as it is. Then let us take another example here. Echo, welcome to this, and uh, some three echo statements are there. Now this can be modified with functions like this. My function, welcome my function, echo. Then you have written a welcome statement inside. Now you write this echo outside. Then you call this my function. So when you call this my function, this statement will be executed. So whatever is said in that function be executed. This is nothing but now an echo statement. Then you print this values from the main program. And then again you call the function again. Now again welcome to my website. We will, we will be displayed. Now we will see the output. Initially a function is returned. Uh, and then you have not called so far. Now here you have given an echo statement in the main program. So that this will be printed like this. Then my function is called. So whatever is said in that will be executed. Here, echo statement is that. So this will be printed. Welcome to my website. And then again, it, it returns to the main program. Here, these two echo statements will be printed. It's nothing but, well, thanks for visiting our site. And remember, then again, we call this my function. Where again, this will be printed. So the same function is called twice. Now, let us see another program where functions with parameters. So far, what we have seen is, function without any parameter so we'll see function with parameter so we can pass some parameters inside the functions and with that we can do some operations so for example here function we have written a function name 
function name is welcome and we have passed a parameter called first name okay so since it is a variable we proceed it with the dollar symbol so definitely a variable should be preceded with the dollar symbol in php so now inside what we are doing is echo hello there then we print the statement that is whatever is passed in the parameter that value is printed okay now we call this function four times from the main program with the different parameters this is what i say by parameters here we have the variable then we pass the value for that variable these are the value so ram ronnie hari david so when we pass first we call with this welcome ram then this will be passed and here the echo statement hello that this ram this value is substituted and it is print again we call the same function with a different value so that will be substituted and again the echo statement will be printed so this is how you pass multiple parameters for the function so you can use to separate multiple parameters php uses a comma here this is a single single value you are passing single parameter you are passing now we will see how to pass more than one parameter that is multiple parameters in order to do multiple parameters it can be separated with the comma statement so for example this is a for example welcome first name comma last name here we pass two parameters so this will be printed here like that hello there then first name and last name so now you likewise since here you have two parameters here also you pass two uh, values for these parameters ram prasad so when you see the output hello there here first name is substituted this is nothing but ram and for this last name this will be substituted ram prasad like this it will be printed so same way rani rabo hari ram and david printed so like this it will be printed now we'll see so far what we have seen is passing uh, first we have seen without any parameters how to write a function then passing a single parameter then passing two parameters and so on you can pass more than two parameters also depends upon the uh, necessity of the program then how how to return value value from the function here what we have done is we have given an echo statement and the value is printed here so suppose i want the value to be printed from the main program how it can be done in that case you have to return that value to the main program then only you can print it in the main program here we are not printing it in the main program through function only we are printing the value using the echo statement present there so now how to do that in order to do that we have to go for return return from the functions so here if you see that uh, say for example let us take an example some function we are adding two values one is uh, we are passing we are writing a function called some function and we pass two parameters so the first parameter and second parameter are added and the value is stored in an another parameter called total now you return this to the main program by the keyword return along with the variable which has to be returned here this is what we are going to return to the main program so return and total now we will see the main program initially dollar an as it's a variable we will assign it to be zero so here we have given echo before the function the value is printed so it will print zero see the output before the function the value stored here is zero now dollar an is equal to some function we call this function okay the same you have to call it with the same name how you have type the same spelling everything should be same then we pass the value for that 7 and 8 so 7 and 8 will be passed to x and y and the values will be added and that value, added value will be returned to the main program so how it will be returned for that what you have to do is you have to call to the left hand side you have to assign a variable and in the right hand side you have to call that function along with its parameter so once you do that the whatever the value return that value will be assigned to this variable so now what happens after the execution 7 plus 8 15 will be returned and that value is stored in ans now after the function you the echo statement is given after the function now you see that see you can see the difference the value returned is printed for the same variable before executing it has zero 
but after that it has that value 50 so this is how you return a value from a function next what we are going to see is default parameter functions with and without default parameter okay what is the advantage of with and without default parameter okay first what is meant by default parameter we'll see first we'll see the the, an example this is a function display and it has two parameters greetings and message in this function we just print the two values now when you call this from the main program as display welcome this is small only here it's turned as capital uh, so please ignore this this is nothing but small display when you call this with welcome what happened See the difference here it has two parameters but here we are calling with only one parameter now it give a error message because it expects second parameter it expects value for the parameter this welcome will be taken by this greeting and it expect for this message another value from this where, where it is missing here so it will give you the error so in which case i don't want this to happen means i can give a default parameter just like this see here function display greetings then for the another variable another variable at the end i am giving a value friends so this will be taken as default so what is it here itself i have given the value see when i do, even if i don't give even if i don't call that with any value it automatically takes uh, this prints as the value for this message that means for the first argument greeting welcome will be attached since here there is no second parameter so as i have not given value for that parameter automatically take this value which assigned here as the default value but the same can be executed with some other value that is welcome comma if i have given some other value only that value will be taken for the message so even if i call with a single value it will not give me an error now i'll show you that This, this is the same program. Yes, when I run this program, it gives me the error. See here, missing argument 2 for display. Now, uh, I don't want this to happen. The same program I want to do so by giving a default parameters. See here. Run. and i get this it will not show me any error automatically welcome will be substituted for greeting and for this message this it will be taken now we'll see that also see here now if i pass another value for this i can pass two per because since it is a two parameter i can pass some other value also welcome say for example i am giving the value php okay in this case how it will execute will it take this or this it will take only this it will not take this in case i don't pass the second parameter then only it will take this value that is why it is called default it will not post me error but if the value is given it will take only this we'll see how it gets executed see the same program it it is substituted it takes a php as its uh, for this message it will not consider friends as the value so this is the difference between a uh, when you pass the value without parameter but when you declare a default parameter it will take and it will not give you any error and one more restrictions in default is always the default value should be the uh, should be at the end of the parameter list say here two parameters means i should not give like this okay. like this i'm not supposed to give it like this you are not supposed to give a 
default parameter as the first parameter. Let me execute this. It gives the error. So always a default parameter it checks at the end of the parameter list. So when I give like this, it will not take welcome and then for message it will not take PHP. Always uh, the, the parameter value which we are passing in the function will take for the first occurring parameters. So always it should be at the end. The default parameter should be declared as the uh, last parameter. Like this. See here, PHP friends, how it has taken, it will not consider this. It will take whatever I have passed, that will be substituted here. It will not take this. So that is a uh, difference. So we'll see the passing function back, uh, passing array uh, as a value for the functions, uh, returning the array from the functions and then reference the next video.